Hi there. So, at the time of this recording, Apple has just finished their event, their September event. And they do have their California event. So, here's everything that they announced during the event. So, they started off the event in a uh, weird turn by the first thing that they announced was the new iPads. So, they announced the new, like, you know, 8th gen or is it 9th gen? iPad and then they announced the sleek iPad mini. I mean, I won't lie, that thing looks pretty good. And you know, the, the main uh, point of the iPads was that you know they have all their like uh, you know the CPU, GPU, and neural engine. They have like faster performance, you know, because they uh, always like to brag about that stuff. Um, so yeah, the, there will also be the center stage, a feature that is on the iPad Pro. Or you know, like, uh, uh, which will also be in FaceTime and Zoom and all these other apps that people use to connect other than seeing each other. So yeah. They also had this one video for the iPad Mini where someone is literally spinning the thing. And uh, you know, as I said on my Instagram, that is skills. <laughs> so then they don't want to talk about a bit of watchOS 8 and Series 7, Apple Watch Series 7. And, um, you know, the main thing with that one is that it's going to be one of the most durable Apple Watches ever. I mean, they literally started off the commercial by, like, you know, a bunch of rocks falling on the uh, Apple Watch Series 7. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. And, you know, they always talk about the fitness goals and everything with the Apple Watch, which is the main point of the uh, uh, Apple Watch to begin with. And, you know, that last advertisement was pretty funny. And speaking of fitness... The one part that dragged on for a very long time was Apple Fitness Plus. You know, like uh, you get to sync your Apple Watch and all this uh, and all your other devices, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, whatever. And you know, you get to watch all these videos by you know the coaches if you have the right equipment. At least I don't know if, if it's just for me, but this is probably the most useless thing ever. So. Let's move on from that. Now we get to the big guns. The iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. And the design was confirmed and the notch is smaller. Thank you, Apple, for actually listening. So, yeah, the notch is actually smaller. And the camera design, another diagonal. I mean, it's not, I mean, I'm not really necessarily a huge fan of it now. But I think I'll grow to love it. You know, once the iPhone 14 comes out and they're going to have four cameras. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and uh, one of the brand new features of the phone, not, not the software, but the phone itself, is cin a cinematic mode. So, you know how those, like, shots where, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like the character or the human is being focused on one shot, and then the rest is blurry, and then it just intertwines? That, yeah, that is only possible with, like, you know, cinema, cinema level photography stuff. And that is being brought to iPhone. You know, that's going to make uh, uh, cinematography, um, the, the cinematography cycle much better. And it's, and it's going to make cinematography a lot easier for more, like, more beginner people like me who are just getting interested in the thing. So, you know, that's cool. I like that. Um, and so, yeah, the, uh, and I forgot to mention, almost all the products have the same prices, which by the way, going to prices and all the lineups and all that stuff. The, the Apple Watch Series 3 is still being supported to this very day. I mean, yeah, I mean, I understand doing that with the iPhones, but Apple Watches? Come on. I mean, I understand like the Series 3 was the first with cellular, so it's like a big deal. But and I can if they if they're still supporting the series three within like the next five years, I can see that product being free. Just like hey, you want a series three? Here you go. Here's a series three. Like it's gonna be outdated by the next five years to begin with. And it's already the product is almost five years old already. So you give out a ten year old product is obviously gonna be like free unless it's very rare. So yeah, I just uh, thought I'd bring that up. And so now we have the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, which, by the way, that new uh, like um, like the cameras being like a, like a more edge edged out a little bit. I hate it. <laughs> I don't really like it, and I hope like uh, 
like the uh, standard um, uh, design of like the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, they did not even alter it. But I will say the colors do look nice, and I'm a huge fan of that Sierra blue. So yeah, there's that. Also, a major feature coming to the uh, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is ProRes video straight from the phone. So you know, like how the, all those commercials, they look so good, you know? And you know, they're edited in Final Cut Pro. Because Final Cut Pro supports ProRes, and I've been trying, I want to put ProRes in some of my videos, but I'm, I don't want to do that for two reasons. One, my videos are mostly simple reaction videos with a 720p webcam, so it's not going to take up that much uh, space. It's going to take up so much space. And two, it's going to take a long time to edit, and it's going to take up so much space. So, there's that. But, I mean, I will say that it's a smart decision to add uh, ProRes video straight from the phone. And one of the um, a wide lens has, or I think telephoto lens, has macro lens features built in it. So you know, you get that extra zoom and all that extra detail and sharpness. Which, by the way, that is something that could not have been possible unless you bought like extra lenses for the iPhone. So, yeah. That is a major, uh, major point. And also, like, you know, battery life is going to be, like, the same, like, in the advancements. You know, 5G, they have all this stuff. And there, and that was the uh, presentation, you know. Not much to talk about other than last year. Because, you know, like, last year there was, even though it was, like, mostly around the... Because there was so much more to talk about last year. But now, now that I know more about this stuff... I just don't need to talk about it as much anymore. However, I will say, they missed out on a major opportunity to put uh, AirPod 3s in the presentation. And, you know, that was a major missed, majorly missed opportunity. And, you know, hopefully, maybe one day they'll announce it on their own, just like they did with the AirPod Pros. So, and I'll do a reaction video to that. And maybe analysis. Not the one, like, three years ago. But, you know, still analysis. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And, you know, more stuff is coming soon. And I apologize for not posting anything in, like, the past two or three weeks. Because, you know, like, uh, a lot of stuff has been happening. So, you know, there's that. Anyways, more stuff is coming soon. And I'm even thinking about going on, like, uh, different subreddits. So, you know, if you're interested in that, those kind of videos... Slap a like. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy spending a th uh, spending $1,000 for a ProRes. Peace.